hey guys welcome back so today we are going to use python and then try to scrap the website rhymezone.com's one page um, both using html as well as json so let's see how it can be done so this is basically what we had done yesterday or in the last session in the use scrape json file using powershell so basically we had initialized a url and then we have invoked the method got that and then loop through it uh, using uh, loop through the result of the rest method and then based on the score we had got some line so the similar code in python something looks like this okay so that i have imported json because we are going to use json the response is json so we need to load the json data into an dictionary and then we are going to use requests import the request what is a request request is a module that is used basically to get and post your http or https requests so these are the two modules that i have added json comes in with by default with python whereas requests you have to do and install pip install requests so for more on how do you install modules and all you can go through my session on python in the keep learning channel of youtube so i have initialized the api url as well as a variable now so i what i'll do i am going to get the send a request so response is equal to requests dot get api url this is similar to what i have done here response is equal to invoke rest method minus uri api url the same thing it does so let's see let's run this <coughs> okay and see what is the output you get in the resp so i'll just say print resp okay and i'll for now we were going to hash this out <clears throat> and i'm going to run this okay so the the file is json so i'll say python json scrapper okay there's some problem okay just give me one minute i think i have a problem with my wi-fi or the internet connection yeah so it's fixed i'm back so yes let's run this script now and see what happens what is the output so it's a response so basically it's a response object that has come so how do i read the response object so it will have response dot status code response dot text so on and so forth so now first we are going to let's try to print the text what has come in the text <coughs> this is what you get so it's a, this is the json you are getting so response dot text so what now i do is i load that into a variable called json data i use json dot loads response dot text so <clears throat> right let's see how your json dot text sorry json underscore data how this looks like now let's run this and see now <coughs> you it would probably look similar than what you saw earlier so now we have the thing in json data so now it's an array so what i do i similar to what i did here for each i am going to run a for loop for data in json data that means for every uh, dictionary in json data what i am going to do i am going to actually assign it to a word json dictionary and print the word json dict word 
<coughs> so it gives me all the words now if we want something similar like this to be done what i can do i can just put here if json underscore dict okay of we or do you have score score so greater than so i'll say greater than 59539 okay then i will print otherwise i am not printing anything so this is very similar to what was done earlier so there is nothing called score in json dot dict so that's what sorry yes so this should be score now if i run it it will only show the ones where score is greater than it will be a smaller list okay so it show only the one which score is greater than so let's run this once more <coughs> so gallery so gallery galley sorry so the same thing is coming in both so that is how it is done using json now basically python with json now let's look at the other example where i had done it using html okay so i have a similar uh code for that let's see here i've named it as sin scrapper okay for whatever reason synonym scrapper basically so this looks pretty simple here i'm using something cool called something called as beautiful soap so beautiful soap helps us to basically parse the htm okay it runs on top of your html parser so html parser is a parser that is already present or rather it's a module which you can install and then use it to or it is actually present within your python installation so what it does is beautiful parser beautiful so soup will actually use the html parser there given there <coughs> or present there and then parse it so and then we find all the b tags what we did similar to here for each element we did response dot past html dot get element by tag name b so similarly this is what i am doing here since is equal to data dot find all of b oh so i am finding a tag b so we can find a tag we can find a name we can find a text we can even find a class so i can say b comma i can say what i have to find so if i say class underscore is equal to some x y z so basically it will pick only the tags with that class so b tags with that class so that's how this beautiful soup html parser or rather the pa module works okay so this is how it is so here only thing is i have a url i have a url i have given a word extra here okay so basically i form the url by joining these two similar to this and then i send a request which is similar to your response is equal to invoke web request and then <coughs> start is equal to 0 i put it here and then i go through each of the elements where it is b so here i have done it in two steps so first i get the data and then use beautiful soap and the soup then then do it and then find all the synonyms which are attack b so this is how <coughs> okay and then uh, yeah for synonym and syn so what i get i get is lot of lines okay with the b tag you are all the your line and then i have done a start is equal to 0 and i have given similar to this of a new more specific so this logic is exactly the same as the top one <coughs> so you know how the r.txt looks like we have already seen it so there it was okay 
so I've commented this out let's me print there it was JSON here you will see R dot text and HTML file so let's run this since scrapper <coughs> so you get the HTML similar to what you got in the uh, PowerShell okay and then I'm going to use the data using a parser this I get the data so basically this is what it is now let me see show you how the data will look this is how your data looks there will not be much difference only for the part the javascript whatever was there in your html file would have been removed okay only the html contents will be pulled out so next what what am i doing i am going to do since which will basically have all the b objects so i if, if you want only one b object i can use find b since there are multiple i have given find all okay so print since now let's see what you get as an output so you should get all the b tags so all the b tags that is there has come out here right so now what we do then we are looping through you can also try this one see here i'm using sin dot text right so here you also you can <coughs> use sin dot txt but let's keep this because view that's the way the data is stored is different okay let me remove this comment format uncomment so this is quite easy now it will pick each of these lines and then see if sin dot text has what is the text dot text means dot text is this cooking yes uh, the text with turner change of state these are all the text here so I pick the text and see what is the text whatever is the text between these two I'm printing it so this is what basically this python script does <coughs> so it prints this let's see what was it printing here okay I'll run the same script similar one yeah it ends with cooling starts with often context so ends with cooling starts with often used in the same context so that's the same this is being printed let me remove this so this is how this works so this is how you have scraped using python similar to you did using your PowerShell okay so next we will look at how to scrape the other website which was moneycontrol.com so in my next video you will see how we scrape moneycontrol.com to get some values out of it thank you